This is a real uh, Elul Teshuvah story. Somebody once came that he had stumbled in the a serious Aveda and he did Teshuvah, his Teshuvah, and he came to the Alter Rebbe to ask for a Tikkun. So there's Teshuvah and there's Tikkun. And the Teshuvah means he's profoundly regretted it, obviously, and so on. But he wants to uh, he wants to repair. He wants to repair the damage. So before he went into Yechidus, he's standing outside the Alter Rebbe's room and he's thinking, maybe it's not it's not appropriate to tell the Rebbe what he did because it's going to cause the Rebbe pain. It was a serious aveira. On the other hand, he thinks to himself, Debesha knows everything. So uh, should I should tell the Rebbe. So while he's reflecting, the door opens. The Alt Rebbe comes out and says, Debesha takas yudeyakoyl. He bears everything. He bears iniquity. Maybe Ishtar can do it. He can handle it. But but we, mortals, who are we and what can we do? So when he said this, that's when he burst into bitter tears. And I'll tell you, it's kind of saying, I can't help you. Maybe Ishtar can bear it, but I can't. Any person to bid it, we mortals cannot. We so he burst into bid it tears. Now Tebbe called him in and he gave him a whole state of Tikkun for his Aveda. It reminds me of a similar story that the Rebbe told in the early years with the Rebbe Rashab. This was the first year after the Stalkas of the first years after the Stalkas of Rebbe Marash, the Rebbe Rashab. It seems in deference to his elder brother, the Razor, refused to formally accept the mantle of Nasius. So the story goes that someone came, somebody came, a child was very sick, to uh, to the Rebbe Shab for a bracha, and the Rebbe Shab told him, I'm sorry, I can't help you. So the fellow goes out of the Rebbe Shab's room, and he's 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 crying bitter, bitter tears in the standing in the hallway. So the elder brother, the Rabbi Zalman Arin, sees this and asks him what happened. He said, uh, I came to the Rebbe, I mean, the Chassidim were looking to him as a Rebbe, and he said, he can't help me. So Rabbi Zalman Arin, the older brother, goes into the Rebbe Rashab and says, that's the Seder. He comes and, uh, and asks for, uh, for a bracha, and you just dismiss him. I know exactly the words he used, if I remember correctly. But I don't want to add this much I remember. So the Rebbe, Rebbe Rashab said, okay, so you should come in again. So he came in and he benched him and his Gehol from Givar and he was helped. So the Rebbe asked the obvious question. It's a similar story here. Why didn't the Rebbe Rashab help him at the outset? The Rebbe explained because he needed to be a deeper keli, that to be a deeper level of, of Tzubrachenkeit. When he told him he can't help him, so then he became them as a keli for the bracha. And it seems the same story here with the Alter Rebbe. And the Alter Rebbe said, "What, what, what do we? Uh, God can 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 uh, suffer you, can bear you, but we can't." Ma no, Ebrish is so great. So this humbled him and broke him further. Ah, so now he was a keli. Alter Rebbe called him in and gave him a seder avoid that was masakin, the Indian, and became emes Balchuva. Yeah, it's a real L story, right? Everybody have a wonderful day. We'll see God.